If you've ever wondered if that questionable artwork handed down from your great uncle twice removed has any value, now might be just time to find out. A special event is being held in our city that hopes to find a few great pieces of art lurking in our basements and closets. Joining us now to explain is the president of Consigner Canadian Fine Art, Rob Cowley. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Mike. How are you today? Oh, I'm great. Thanks for coming in today. This is going to be very, very interesting because Definitely. everybody has something. They want, is this going to make me rich? Tell us about what you do and how you come about determining if something is of value. Of course, I'm a fine art appraiser, and so I travel the country. Uh, we hold auctions, uh, consigner.ca. We hold uh, two um, uh, live auctions of important Canadian art twice a year, as well as multiple online auctions, again, at consigner.ca. So we travel the country holding these events from coast to coast, and we oftentimes, you know, we do find works uh, from time to time that are original works of art that do carry value. What should people be looking for when they're looking at the art in their home and determining whether or not it's worth bringing in to take a look at? Different factors. I would say primarily the artist. If you can read the signature, you can always, Google's a great, a great tool. You can, you can look and see. Um, if the artist is a recognized artist, if it's an artist that trades, and then from there, whether it might be a print. If it's if it's a Picasso, it may be a reproduction. You know, if you have the the Mona Lisa um, in, in your home, there's a good chance it's a copy of the original. Um, but from there, you can certainly contact us, and we can help with uh, factors beyond that point. All right, take us through the actual process and, and how things work at the event. Yeah, well, p people can bring up the three works of art. Um, we're at the um, the Fairmont McDonald uh, tomorrow between nine and four. Uh, they can bring up the three works of art. Uh, we'll take a look at those and let them know if there might be a value at auction. We do recommend making an appointment, uh, our SVP at consigner.ca or 866-931-8415. Now, how common is it for you to find something of value? I would say somewhere between 10 and 20% will, will be a work of art that we can offer at auction. Um, that doesn't, now there may be works that have a value in a gallery setting that we just can't help with, but a lot of work of what we see will be, you know, reproductions or there'll be works that may just n not be in fashion currently in the market. And when you say it's of value, it means that you're willing to take it on as a consignment. Exactly. And if you're able, if somebody feels that it's the same value as you do, well, then, then it's of value. If not, then maybe not so much. Not so much, exactly. It's all the demand, right? It's all, it really is. Supply and demand. Uh, what's in fashion is very important as well. Certain artists are trading very favorably right now. And uh, again, we hold auctions all year round and we are accepting consignments. Who would be the day. artists that are favorable right now? Certainly the group of seven continue to be. Artists like Jean-Paul Riappel as well. Artists like Jack Bush. Maude Lewis, of course, who had a movie uh, about her life uh, sure. released last year. Um, a wide, wide array of artists. Okay, well you've brought some with you here today, some yeah. of which were brought by some of the people we work mm -hmm. with. Why don't you walk us through them and tell us what you think their value is? Sure. Um, we can start actually very interesting right here. Um, Someone on your staff brought in this little painting. I can actually lift it up right sure, here. Sure, that's good. As it turns out, um, this painting looks to be actually an early work by A.Y. Jackson, member of the Group of Seven. Um, now, um, the artist is very important, so, so that, that starts you off very well. Period's very important. This is very early. Uh, Jackson studied in Paris between 1907 and 1909. Likely from that period, it's a European scene. Subject matter is also very important. If this was Canadian, it would be a little more. Likely, though, somewhere between seven and $15,000 at auction, I would say. Off really? Off my head. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, right. again. The artist is very important. Okay, what um, else? Behind me here, the large work here, I believe, would be more decorative. Not an artist, again, that trades at auction frequently. A beautiful painting. What does that um, mean, decorative versus something else? It would probably be a value somewhere in, in the lower hundreds of dollars, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this work looks to be a reproduction um, of a master. Um, taking a close, a close look at the work, it's made up of tiny dots like a newspaper. So it looks to be a printed reproduction um, just uh, over your shoulder. That's a work by Roland Gissing, right here. a Western Canadian artist. Uh, a work that size can sell anywhere between certainly between $2,500 and $5,000. Beautiful painting. Again, subject matter very important, and that is typical for him. Uh, right below that, actually, is a painting I've brought with me. It's a work by celebrated Canadian artist uh, Charles Comfort. The now association or history of the painting is very important. This painting, um, the larger version of this painting, hangs in the National Gallery of Canada. Um, so this painting will be in our live auction May 29th, and that carries a value of three to five thousand dollars. And then if we look up front at the bottom of the table here, uh, we have an original painting uh, right over here by uh, just, just down a bit lower, an original painting by A.J. Casson right there. Is that um, the one right there? With right the, there. Okay. Uh, the last living member of the Group of Seven, value of twenty-five to $35,000, again in our May 29th auction. Lastly, The Three Cats, Maude Lewis, a uh, movie dedicated to her life was released last year. Very popular, created a lot of new collectors in Canada. Uh, value between seven and 9000 in our March online auction at consigner.ca. We sold one 
last year actually was the record for $36,000. Wow. Yeah, very popular artist, very much in fact. How often are people totally surprised when they bring something into you and they just think, oh, on a lark, I'll take this in because I don't know what it is, and then you hit them with some kind of big number? It does happen. It still happens. Certainly, uh, the Internet uh, sometimes ruins that. They've looked it up, and so they have some expectation. We had a work by William Kerlach brought in. The client had no idea what they had. The family had actually received it by trading strudel with the artist. They didn't know who the artist <laughs> was. Uh, we sold the painting for about $36,000 a couple of years wow. ago. So, yeah. so don't be shy. Don't be shy just at all. bring Absolutely. it in. You have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose at all. We're happy to help. Come Thank you so much. Pleasure, good, good luck Thank with you. your uh, event. Uh, Consigner Canadian Fine Art brings their search for valuable works of art to the uh, Hotel McDonald tomorrow from 9 until 4. The event is free, but appointments are preferred. For information or an appointment, you can call that number on your screen. There's also a website there, and the uh, Twitter handle is at consigner underscore dot C-A.